Right, we're just going to do some flasher rigs. Someone asked me why their flasher rigs spray and feather out. There's nothing wrong with that setup. They all do the trick. I just like mine like a fishing lure, so I tend to layer it. I put a good base of cotton down on first and then glue at every stage. The cotton there will help the feathers and the glitz all bite into the hook rather than just trying to bite into a smooth hook where it will twist and slide. So do a wrap, do a glue and then work out where you're going. I use two types of things. I use the crystal flash which is those of you doing it know it's not cheap but I also go to Spotlight and I buy hair extensions. Um, these are half the price. You don't get too bad amount of money and amount of stuff for them, but you're only paying two or three dollars on special. So it's a cheap, easy way to fill them up. I like to put probably more than I should do on there because um, it gives me a nice bulky body and that makes it easier to see. Um, but again, it's just my two cents worth. I lay it on more hook like a typical fly tire keep that on top of the the shank and you can see it sits there nice and straight if you spread it around the shank it'll cover more of the hook and give you a fuller body effect if you just want a straight green line in the middle of everything keep it nice and thin and you can start building it up in layers we put a green on the bottom I'm going to give it a white body and again put a layer on and then I glue it. Um, possibly a bit of overkill, I use more glue and more thread than a lot of people but I like to know that when it's on there, it's on there. And straight away you can see from that the two colours are sitting nice and even. So if that's swimming through the water like that, I've got a green belly a white middle section. Now we're going to bulk it up a bit more and because this is going to be sort of salt water I'm going to whack a blue on top of that and that's going to form the base of my body. As I say total overkill on glue but you want these things to last and get thrashed so it's got to got to be right. If it's not glued on properly and there it is. I'm coming down a good nearly an inch all the way down the hook on this larger model. And you can see there straight away, you can see the different colours. It's not all mixed up. Um, sometimes that makes a difference, sometimes it doesn't. Now I'm making this one quite line, quite long. I have a few straggly bits, I don't worry about that. It adds more flash and motion if it's sitting in the water. My two cents worth I'm thinking is if it looks like a fish in the water and it's lying there without any bait on, rolling around the bottom, there's still a chance that something's going to come along and think it's a dead fish or something. Okay, from there, we're going to bulk up the body a bit more. But now I'm starting to use the crystal flash. And some of these flashes are expensive. Um, I paid up to $14 for some of these packets. I was buying them through Wish. Um, but you don't always get the same volume amounts as you do here in New Zealand. I build the head up so I've got a solid head around the eyelet. And there's my body. Um, I could put that on a fly rod or a small spinning rod with a hook uh, weight in front of it and fish it just like a lure through the waves and that'll catch trout, salmon, kawai, trevally, anything that's flashing about. Now that I've got there, just to show you about bodybuilding, let's take a bit of yellow. And I'm going to put the yellow down one side. So get it nice and tight. And you hold that directly right on the side. Throw your first loop over loose. Now that you've got it in place, if you wrap that down tight, 
your body's now going to have a yellow strip down the side. I'll do the same on the other side. Again, I'm after a strip, throw a loose loop to start with, that'll grab it. You can then keep it in tight, make sure it's in position, and then give it a tighter wrap. I have a hot glue gun. Um, I use that from time to time. Just haven't plugged it in for this exercise here today. So that's me yellow. Another good attractor for me is a little bit of red. You can use the crystal flash, you can use the hairdressing stuff. Um, this one, I just want a little bit of extra flash, so I'm going with the crystal. And I've got them at different, different lengths. Doesn't all have to be the same. By having different lengths built into your strip, it adds a bit of bulk to it. Now we've got the yellow with the red strip down the side. We've got the blue on top. We'll do the same on the other side. Throw a loose loop just to grab it, hold it in place, come back down the body. And now I have my red down the side. And again, that's just a bit of color. So be in salt water. In my mind, or as I say, I could take this up any trout river um, and fish for anything up there. Let's go for a green back. Um, and I stick to basic colours um, that you'll find naturally in the sea. Herrings, piper, pilchards, garfish, all run pretty similar sort of colours. And now I can wrap that up, create a head out of it. Just fold any stragglers back, there's a couple there, just pull them back, hold them in, wrap them up, and pretty much you've made a fishing fly. If I'm using it for bait, I only hook the bait through once, and then I have this tail that hangs down. You can see already, if I take it out, The colours, how they run, there is actually a pattern there. It's not just random. If I go over the top, you can see the clear back colour there. If you go underneath, you've got the lighter, brighter colours. Now if you want to take that a step further, if you want to get a bit fancy on it, you can take some crystal flash, some white, some silver. Red for a head is not bad. I'm just trying to find some white. And what we do is we'll take a clump of that. Drown it in glue. And then we're going to wrap the head. So we bring your glue back. Take a loose loop. Pull it up. Lock it in place. Now wrap the head and just wrap it round and then just work it forward. Wrap it all the way up to the front. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that there and bring the line over the back and that locks that straggly bit in. Now you can chop that off at that stage. What I like to do is just fold it back and do another couple of wraps around the head. And that tidies it off. Any little straggler bits around here, just give it a bit of pulse. So it doesn't have to be neat and tidy. If you're one of those people that are neat and tidy, you can fold that back. But all those little things will add a bit of movement. If it's pretending to be a, die, a dead bait on the bottom, any sort of flicker movement, it's just going to attract the fish's attention. So once you've got that on there, just give the whole thing a good gluing over, top, bottom, and especially around the head. And to cast off, 
I'm old fashioned so I do it by fingers, just make a loop across there, tie that in, so you've got that loop, it goes across, and then you just roll your fingers around underneath it. The top one goes over, the bottom finger stays underneath. So the bottom finger never goes over the top, and you're just giving it like a little half itch. Goes on there, around there. You can do that two or three times if you want. But if you know you've got it nice and tight. Um, and as for thread, I use a really strong thread. Um, this one's Vivas. Try and get your... It's quite strong. I brought three or four different varieties. Um, the shop told me they were all super strong, but this is the only one that works so far. Um, if your thread's too light, every time you pull it, it breaks, and it's a real pain in the jacks. But there it is there. You've actually made something that looks like a minnow. It'll pass for any types of fish you want to call it. And um, you're all good to go. I have another little thing up my sleeve. If I want to, I brought a pack of this stuff. Super cheap from um, Spotlight, and it's a glue and glitter mix. So if you want to take things a little bit further, depends on how fancy you want to get. As I say, I can just squeeze this out. And then just squirt it around. And it just gives me a bit of extra colour at the front of the head. And um, you can go over the whole thing, but I've just a little touch there. Um, that's heaps. So there it is. It's the same process whether you make big or small or short. If you want the flared look on your um, flasher rigs, just tie a little piece of crystal flash or whatever in here, and you've only got to wrap it maybe two or three mils down, and when you pull that up on tight, everything sprays open. Um, you can do that in sections along bigger hooks, just like a woolly bugger fly, and then it will give you that sort of squiddy-like movement. Um, and that works really well. But I can put a big bit of bait on that. I can stick a whole pilchard on it, a half strip, piece of kawaii, or even just a little wedge of bait like that. But that's going to add a whole heap of colour. Um, do they work? Yeah, some days they do make a big difference. Other days, I've gone back to using a beer hook. Different areas I've fished in up Mirawai Beach. Um, all pink, all red or blue, some have been short, some have been long. And you can see with these other ones, um, I've got back here, I've got different tinsoles in there, that working through the waves, it's just gonna swim. And you can fish that fast or you can fish that slow. You can put a weight, in, a ball weight uh, in front of it. One of those slider heads with the big eyes, you could attach that to the front. And you can send that out at 8, 10 knots behind your boat. Um, the whole thing's cost me uh, three bucks. The hook's the most expensive part. But if you use the cheaper bulker fillers, and this is the stuff out of the um, hair extensions, it saves you on this stuff. And as you say, some packets are 8 or $9, others are 10 or 12 And um, you can create some nice looking lures, but you can also create... An attraction for your bait if you fish that under a balloon drop it off with your drone take it out 200 put a 10 foot trace on from your balloon to here that'll sit like that in the water and it'll just move and just creates that looseness um, depends on where you tie it off again I down to about halfway down the hook I find that's plenty then it gives me plenty of room to put a bait on but it's up to your imagination how you want to go about it. There's a similar thing but in blue. Thinking of more pilchards and stuff like that. And I put a green head on it out of that stuff. Um, I get all different colours. There's the green. I got 12 bottles of this for about $7. Um, yep. Yeah, and that's the brand there. At Spotlight. Cheap as chips. I've only done one coat on that. And that's, that was last night, and that's really quite hard. If you want to go over it a second time, you can. It just depends on how much you want to spend per hook. Um, 
but that makes a wicked lure whichever way you look at it um, it's going to give you the chance and just sometimes it is the thing that makes the difference um, different colors yeah there's a pinky one stick to your basic colors that you know work and then once you get the confidence you can really start playing around sometimes the most outrageous thing will catch the fish on a dull day other times all you need is just a bear hook and a piece of bait um, they can be fussy as you don't need a lot on it there's a simple one I could fish that on a saltwater fly rod and um, I'd be confident as hell that will catch me a lot of fish very thin very bright lots of movement um, and it's the right colors bluey green with a bit of gold in there it is what's swimming around in the water at the moment here's a similar thing I've just used a tinsel in the bottom and then some of the hair extensions on top red and silver good color combination again I've put the red gel around the front just to finish it and that locks it in nice and tight if you want to put